All right, Katrina, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start off with checking Katrina's mid back or thoracic spine, and we're gonna feel for extension restrictions. And right here we can already see that this spot really wants to get adjusted in that direction. Good. And we'll move through feeling for the rest of her spine. Um, now beyond that, we'll then check for some flexion restrictions, especially through here. Excellent. So Katrina just went to PT and got taped, which is really cool. All right, so um, if you'll look right up here, Casey, thank you. We can't see the disc herniation on the x-ray, but Katrina does have an MRI confirmed disc herniation here between C5 and C6, which is why she's getting adjusted and seeing um, physical therapy. So today we're gonna to do a little bit of a different adjustment. We're not gonna use our hands. We're gonna be using this adjustment instrument called the arthro stem. The arthro stem moves bones just like my hands do, but just does it in a little bit of a different way. So let's get started with that. We're gonna start here, the lower part of the cervical spine and start to induce some extension right here through where the negative curvature started to develop in Katrina's spine. And then also using her x-rays and all the palpation we've done in the past, we know that Katrina's lower cervical spine, specifically C5, really needs to rotate around to the left. So we've got C5 right there, and you can probably feel that's the tender spot, mm -hmm. huh, Katrina? Yeah. yeah. C3. Okay. And translate the atlas, which is over here. <clears throat> Just like that. Awesome. Okay. Katrina, I'm going to move that with my hands, but you just stay right there. Okay. So today we'll do a prone cervical for Katrina's neck just because I'm feeling that, that really needs to happen right through here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Actually, come around the other side, please, Rachel. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what you needed. Good. Okay. I'm going to check your pelvis. And we've got a left-sided sacrum right through here, along with a pelvis that's rotated posterior on the left. So we use the drop for that. <clears throat> we can get the PSIS here under the pisiform contact, and then sacral notch under the ulnar knife edge, just like that. Sweet. And I will just check and make sure everything is moving the way it should be. Excellent. Much better. Okay. <clears throat> Let me lay on your side. Face me. I'm right over here. So for Katrina's low back, we need to move L4, we need to rotate it around to her left. We also need lateral flexion for her adjustment, so that's why we, we drop out the table there. We can get both of those motions all at once. Okay, got a hand for you right here. 